Now joining us this evening on the special edition of the News Hour, I've got Vijay Krishnan. He's a supporter of the Shiv Sena. Joining us from Chennai, with me in the uh, studios is Mr. Naveen Chomal. He, of course, uh, is a lawyer uh, uh, and he's a uh, uh, work for Shiv Sena. He's also advising Ravindra Gaikwad. He's going to be defending the Goon Gaikwad today, this evening. And our uh, Watson, former IPS officer, also with us, Sanju Varma, spokesperson for the G BJP, joining us also from Mumbai. Ashok Pandit, filmmaker and activist with us, and Clyde Crasto, spokesperson for the NCP, joining us uh, this evening. I I'm going to request all of you to just hold on for a bit before we really dive into the debate because we've also got a very special guest tonight. Uh, and, and we're going to first, I want to just first talk to her uh, and then we will open this debate uh, uh, for further uh, questions. Uh, and she, in fact, uh, is part of the Air India crew that was on the flight that evening. At this point, we've decided not to reveal her identity uh, for fear, fear of any backlash as she sits here with us uh, this evening uh, and shares the story with us. But thank you for joining us and thank you for uh, at least taking the stand of speaking out on this issue. And my first question to you, of course, if uh, you can tell us what really happened on that flight after you landed uh, in Delhi that day. Yes, ma'am. I was on that flight. I operated that flight, AI-852, and we landed before time and um, all the passengers had deplaned and... Uh, even we were um, deplaning. I was working at the rear galley, so I, when I was uh, about to pass through the first um, door, uh, the passenger door to exit, I just saw the senior was there and um, a passenger was sitting on 1B. So uh, my, pas uh, my senior told me, Miss Shweta Mukhya, she told me that uh, the passenger is uh, Mr. Ravinder Kaikwad um, and he is not going to get off the plane because uh, he has some issues um, regarding the allocation of the aircraft on that day on AI 852 uh, which according to him was uh, not just for um, the boarding card that he was issued on that day. According to him uh, the boarding card uh, was of a business class, a J class and the aircraft that we were flying on that route that day was an all economy aircraft. So he wanted to take it up with a higher authority and for that uh, he requested us that we should be calling some senior officials and um, so that would take time. So um, uh, we stayed back because we cannot leave the aircraft till all the passengers deep in. And um, eventually um, uh, some officials came on board. Um, uh, hub manager and then uh, commercial staff. There were people from SATS and um, security and um, a duty manager and uh, uh, some deputy GMs also. And uh, we tried to talk to him all throughout and we're trying to keep him uh, cool um, and composed and we wanted to hear his grievances. He had no particular grievances regarding the service. He was in fact a very sober passenger. Mm. He was very very courteous to the crew, especially to the woman crew. And um, But he had big issues regarding the operations of Air India and he wanted to take it up majorly with the senior officials. Yes. So he was disappointed by the non-appearance of the officials, and the time was passing. Yes, but and but, um, but what we are also trying to say, and I understand that. That's what he also told us. He said he wanted to raise the issues of the way Air India functions, and he wanted answers on that, and he wanted senior officials. But that wasn't the right platform. He came out and he wrote a letter to the speaker, he wrote a letter to the civil aviation minister, he could have written to the Air India uh, ch chairman and managing director, but he did it there. And all of that violence and that drama, what triggered that? Yeah, even I was trying to, he has that eye card, you know, how many of us amongst the population have that eye card to go in, even in front, you know, close to the parliament. He has the access to the parliament to reach out to the decision makers and make a difference to all the happenings. So he could have used that platform rather than using our aircraft 
uh, in such a uh, way that uh, you know operations were hindered so being said that um, i feel sorry for what happened and the means that he used um uh, and finally that argument that happened between the uh, operational head and him so uh, it's pretty sad how things turned out for air india and though the probably the intentions were good and um, it the argument should have been healthy in a, a better um, environment uh, which um, he had access to and um, uh, more um, official should have been involved to sort out the grievances and issues uh, but um, the argument broke out and uh, it turned violent and it turned into a physical uh, confrontation uh, so much so that uh, somebody's life could have been in danger and that is the role we play on board to save lives no matter who that person is so uh, with my instinct i just passed in because some time back he had called me sister so with that that feeling that he at least don't harm me being a lady and that worked as a circuit breaker between the men and he didn't raise a hand on me and um, he stopped and and thankfully he stopped uh, when i said that even the duty manager is somebody's father he has a family and that was his graciousness that he stopped so yeah and then later uh, he sat down he well, was uh, willing to listen and we saw that part uh, thankfully thankfully he calmed down at some point at least listen to you but now before we come to what the, the police action has been how would you dis- describe his behavior the part that we have seen is of course one part of the entire sequence how would you describe his behavior i mean it was unbelievable and um I'm not sure whether uh, he actually intended to do it or he was just uh, putting a pressure on the set people so that they listen to him. Um but whatever he did amounts to grave actions actually um violent actions which are actually not permissible by law. So he should have thought about it. incitement to a violent thing is a sorry state you know and um that sh- situation should not have taken place in the first place not in our uh, work zone now has the police got in touch with you because we here at times are also raising questions about the delay in action they have a procedure to follow but do they really need to go so slow we know we can track ravindra gaikwad we managed to track you down has the police at least managed to get in touch with you yes ma'am it would have been different i don't think so being a woman i would have had to jump in like that when so many people were around um so actually we didn't use any force on him the other staff didn't because he was holding such a high position and esteem in our eyes um and for um from a hospitality industry we actually look up to all those who are serving the nation and who are holding such high places and we do it day in and day out we are in the service mode and we want to extend our hospitality to them not put force so that stopped us from uh, his uh, attack on our um, staff we could not do much probably the other staff also couldn't uh, pull him up for that had it been a common man probably we would have uh, like taken it in a different way uh maybe that you know restrained him totally now that we can do that uh like other airlines uh, internationally by the safety measures that we are given but um, out here things really went out beyond our control and uh, thankfully he didn't cross the line he was willing to listen and he did listen after he sat down came back and sat down and that was the time when i was trying to uh, uh, pursue him by uh, saying that all those things are already recorded and on on air and i was that at that time not aware that somebody is making a video which is also <laughs> was a quite a surprise yes yes and to witness that of course 
uh, would also have been extremely harrowing and shocking. You don't expect your parliamentarians to behave like that. Uh, uh, and we saw that in the video as well. Thank you for joining us and, uh, and, and really sharing your experience with us. Uh, we, we're going to go across to our guests now. Now, in fact, uh, Mrs. Jomal, I spoke to her in, gr in great detail in, in the evening as well. And uh, we spoke uh, in great detail about what really happened after that, before that. Uh, and, and she was pretty much involved in the entire incident. Where is Mr. Gaikwad this evening? Why isn't he coming out and, and surrendering himself? Whether he is uh, done right or wrong, let the law take its own course. But why shouldn't he just go to the police and say, okay, you have filed an FIR, here I am? See, <clears throat> I am not against the view of your esteemed channel. I have very high regards for your concerns. But I would like to add certain other angles of it, which are also uh, very important points from the jurisprudence, uh, which is the set principles of our law in the country. See, this person, whatever incident has occurred, but whenever there are disputes, there are three sides. One is your side, one is my side, and one is the real side. So, he also deserves a chance to put before the Honorable yeah, so Court what his side is. No, no, his side. Let the court no, judge. no, Mr. Chomal, his side. See, his side, he may tell the court for that. He can come and tell the police over, as well. Will not take he can come and tell uh, the police as well. Value. He has gotten enough, e enough chance, opportunity with the media. We have spoken to him in great detail. If there was another version to it, he would have said that. What did he tell us when we asked him? That did you beat him? Yes, yes. What were you told? With what did I beat him? I beat him with my chappal. I beat him with my chappal. वो चप्पल वहाँ गिरी पड़ी दिखी भी हमें वीडियो में, but वो खुद ये बोल रहे हैं तो इसमें दूसरी वर्जन की बात कहाँ से अब आ रही है ये? No no there is no different version then there is addition to the version that what happened what was the flash point what was the flash point was he hit or was he slapped first no was he pushed off the aircraft first he was ridiculed in certain manner so he will take so he will beat beat up somebody no 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 definitely definitely not nobody did nobody justifying the violence but he is not he is not apologizing political bosses are not but he is not apologizing that for that ah well well definitely see whatever he is trying to articulate his thoughts and in the heat of the moment what has happened but ultimately from the judge's point of view what the law says court will take into account all the circumstances, the totality of the circumstances. So when it goes to the what court, it will, and of course we expect the court to do the to do justice. But is that how justice, everything is justice, going to play out justice, in our country? Definitely. Is that how everything will play out in our country? Definitely we have not, to definitely wait not, for years not. and years and delays definitely and date changes and date changes before some justice is done in this case. No, 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 please, no, no. that's the point. No, no, why no, why no, is no. your party, Mr. No, no, Chomar? Are, no, no. Why is your party silent? You just saw that. No, no. You just saw Uddhav Thakre. He's not speaking about it. If your party doesn't stand for it, why haven't they no, come no, out no, and the, said that? No, Shiv Sena will never support any violence. They are maintaining a studied silence. They are silence emboldens violence. No, 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 no. Silence emboldens this no, no, kind no, no, of no, no, behavior. No, no. Sanju no, no. Varma. Nobody is Sanju Varma. No, no, no. Is silence not going to embolden him and his gang? No, no, please appreciate. His gang please is appreciate. out there on the streets now, protesting against Air India. Fine, you want to talk about overhaul of Air India, do it at another time at the right platform. This is not the platform and this is not the way, is no, it, Sanju Varma? No, 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 please let, let us bring in all the uh, okay. panelists. 9.20, we need to bring in other people also. I'll come back to you, you can finish your point then. Yes, Sanju Varma, please. Yes, I think, Tanvi, first of all, let me start by saying that there are no disclaimers, no caveats whatsoever. The, uh, you know, assault... Uh, by uh, Mr. Gaikwad uh, clearly needs condemnation and unequivocally and in absolute totality. And me, as well as the party that I represent, the BJP, totally condemns it. Jayant Sinha, the MOS for Aviation, as well as Mr. Ashok Gajapati Raju, have on record given their statement saying that this is highly unfortunate, regrettable. And now coming to your uh, specific question of action that needs to be taken. I agree with you, silence is not the solution because that empowers and emboldens such lumpen elements. Uh, the surprising thing, if you notice, in that uh, audio slash video clip that you uh, and your channel has played out over the last, uh, you know, couple of hours, is that he says, I am Shiv Sena ka MP, I can do anything, I will see Uddhav Ji, I am not a BJP ka MP. Nahi hmm. I don't know whether I should take that as a left-handed compliment, but clearly he insinuates that the BJP MPs are civil and the Shiv Sena lot is not. 
so thank you for that endorsement though i don't though i don't think we need an endorsement from the lumpen likes of mr gaikwad uh, you know i personally think uh, as an aware citizen not merely as a bjp spokesperson what we need to do uh, to rein in these kind of lumpen elements is a whether you know services pertaining to aviation can also be included under under the essential maintenance services act b we need to give more teeth to act like the consumer protection act because i think when there are uh, great and violations i, I like think we are going to do it no sanju just one uh, minute we, we are going off track here we are going off track here let's yeah. not try and justify this by making it about airlines or the services industry or the airlines industry also this is this man is a repeat offender this is what he does he's done this twice earlier and we i like it those incidents as well he is going to resort to this kind of violence he, he is arrogant minute. about it and he thinks he should say na that is how they supposed to behave mp mla whoever no matter who standing in front of them that is how he is going to behave so my question then becomes uh, yes clyde i'm coming to you in just a bit but i actually first want to go to mr nr watson and try and understand from him sir that why is it that he is not even been summoned questioned we want him arrested had it been a common man the the the, the security would have picked him up from the air, aircraft itself and taken him but why is it not happen in this case <clears throat> you see we must understand what the legal position is uh on a complaint given by uh, the airline staff who was assaulted who was allegedly assaulted in the aircraft an fir has been registered i understand that it has been registered with a delay with 24 hours a little bit more delayed there was i don't know when the complaint was made uh, the complaint uh, the delhi police should have studied the uh, complaint and since it revealed a cognizable offense they should have registered the case forthwith without waiting for any legal advice because as senior police officers we are capable enough to analyze a complaint whether it reveals a cognizable offense which for which we are duty bound to register an fir second we must understand the section in which the fir has been registered as i understand that the fir has been registered under section 308 and 355 of indian penal code that is correct now recently some years back the criminal procedure code the provision of arrest under section 41 were amended mm. because there were a lot of complaints of police resorting to arrest of individuals without rhyme or reason mm. the supreme court also in the past had come down heavily and the government decided and the parliament decided to amend the law as the law stands today if an offence has been committed cognizable offence where the punishment is less than 7 years then the police officer can only arrest if certain conditions are uh, and as fulfilled. i understand it sir and if correct me and correct me if i'm exist, wrong sir and correct me if i'm wrong sir yes you're right about the sections you're also right about the fact that they, there was a delay of 24 hours a gap a gap of more than 24 hours between the complaint and then the fir getting filed but it is still up to the investigating officer with these sections uh, to see whether he needs to be summoned or or arrested at any given point would that be correct no i i i'm explaining that now the uh, investigating officer has authority to uh, arrest the gentleman if certain conditions are fulfilled yes now if those conditions do not exist the investigating officer can summon him question him record his statement but before that since the person who has been allegedly assaulted and there were some witnesses which everyone knows because of the video footage which has been shown on various tv channels it is duty of the police to have uh, talk to those uh, witnesses who are there 
at that time in the aircraft when this incident has taken place. You are absolutely right, they sir. You are absolutely so right. It is the duty of the police, the and that is the procedure like you highlighted. Yes, sir. Like you highlighted that the statements of all of these eyewitnesses have to be taken. A detailed statement of the man who has made the complaint also has to be taken. And then this will, uh, the, this uh, Goon Gaikwad will perhaps be summoned after and permission from the Lok Sabha Secretariat. That is how protected our netas are. But still, is this the speed that at which the police can go? We have managed to track down the data. We have managed to track down the eyewitnesses. We have managed to speak to them. We have also put it out for everybody to hear it. But the Delhi police has not. Which is why we are asking this question. Are they deliberately going slow? And why are they going slow? Would that have been the speed at which they had acted, sir? And let's be honest about it. If it was a common man who had dared to hit out at the security, at the crew members, abuse them, try to push them, and delay a flight by over 45 minutes. Why this delay? Why is it that in our country there is such a distinction in between how you deal gunda netas and deal with the common man? Well, that's the question, you know, we all have been asking you know, uh, around, you know, why is this delay? There's no question of there being a delay because the fact of the matter here is the, Mr. Gaikwad himself has gone and recorded and accepted the fact that he's committed this offence. He has, you know, with a lot of bravado said that I've hit this person 25 times and I actually wanted to throw him off. I mean, look at the arrogance of power of this MP. He's supposed to be... Uh, you know, elected representative, he is here to serve the people. Yeah. And with so much bravado, he's talking. And the fact is, he can go on and on like this because there's no action being taken. Mm. You know, there's an ethics committee of the parliament. They can, you know, take action on him. The speaker could have taken so much cognizance uh, of this whole issue. The uh, Delhi police have, uh, could have taken uh, uh, action on this because he has admitted to his offence. So I do not understand <laughs> what this whole thing is about. And the sad I tell part you, of and it's very, very frustrating. Is, Mr. Gaikwad it's is very, the teacher, very frustrating because, because the questions you are profession. asking are the questions we've been asking yes, for three days, yes. Clyde. And you know what? Every time a different rule or different law is thrown at our faces. Oh, well, we, uh, the That's speaker right. can't That's do right. anything because this didn't happen inside parliament, so she no, can't I'm, take I'm two more more thing, of it. to add to this. Well, the Delhi police can't do anything until they first get the permission from no, the no, secretariat no, and no, they that, question no, that, the eyewitnesses and they question the complaint and then no, maybe the they will no, summon the, the MPs. No, session. these are the rules that are being quoted to us, which is why, which no, is no, why it is no, even no. more infuriating that you don't have such rules no. to protect the common man, but you do for the MP. Which no, is why he's so brazen, Vijay Krishnan. Let me tell you, you one you, more thing. You know, you know, Vijay Krishnan, okay, for people you like to... you, that there is always somebody. Yeah, Clyde, just one okay, minute. Can I, can, I, can I put my point across? Okay, Tanvi. okay, quickly, yes. Go ahead, please. Clyde first. Yeah, a quick point, Tanvi, a quick point to the, what I was saying. A quick Okay, fair enough. A point noted that when you're talking about technicalities, point noted. But what about the Shiv Sena? Hmm. What, what about Mr. Uddhav Thakre? He should have come out and immediately served a show cause notice to this MP hmm. and made him apologize. Uh, you know, there are people who have come out in support of him saying, why should he apologize? But the man himself has admitted that he may uh, committed an offence. So there is an uh, you know, apology which is, has to be tendered immediately. A show cause notice has to be given for his party and there should not be, you know, they should set an example and tell the people that, oh, yeah, you know, we are setting an example here. Nobody at that level can do something like this and get especially, caught. Especially, especially Clyde, especially uh, when... He's already come out and said, okay, arrest me, I, I'll see, I'll see what happens, Uddhav Ji is now. Now, before I come to you, Vijay, just want to bring in Ashok Pandit on that. Now, that is the yeah. confidence, yeah, Ashok uh, Pandit, that he actually has in Uddhav Ji and Shiv Sena, that he will save him. What has happened to him today? If he has been arrested, he will leave him for 6 hours. Tell me, uh, Ashok Pandit, you know, the tragedy of this country is that uh, People from all political parties, it's not one, suffer from a disease called arrogance of power. The gentleman, with due respect to him, who was, who was questioning uh, this entire act, should be reminded that his party broke the entire office of, telev of a television news channel in Mumbai a few years back. Now, I don't want to get into that. What I'm trying to say is, when the citizens, when the people of the country give you power to serve, Mm. You get drunk with the power. This man, as you rightly said, has accepted that I have beaten him, black and blue.
with chappals without any emotions let us try and understand i don't want to get to the legalities of it i don't want to get into the uh, in, in, into whether he has done or not done whether he should say sorry or not i from the point of the victim would like to understand ki what would have this man's family undergone mm. his children must have undergone when they came to know his wife came to know that my husband was beaten on 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 work does it does, doesn't this guy could have a family if i stand up and beat this man or any political leader with a chappal what would i suffer the problem is that this disease has to be cured this disease has to be operated his leader is a soft soft spoken person uddhav thakre aditya thakre are soft spoken people they have not taught them hmm. but they have to come out now and see to it that this man is out and set an example in the world of politics that this will not we well, one fails allowed. to understand ashok pandey one really fails to understand why uddhav thakre is maintaining this silence and the only way to interpret that is that he he really what doesn't want to condemn it he doesn't want to pull him up yes You, what do you mean no then why is he silent how I mean, how else will we know what udav thakre is think, uh, thinking because this man is going and is going on to say ki mere ko to wo bacha lenge main kuch bhi kar sakta hu maine 25 baar chappal mari yeah tell me tell me that's what i'm saying this is arrogant because he knows that the system of the country will not punish him that is the problem tell me i that example has to be said yeah client one minute i have gone to vijay sel and he is sitting there he should be behind the bars He has no right to move freely. He should be behind the bars. There is no other place for it. Yes, no Mr. Vishnan. Is that what emboldens you? Just a correction, Tanvi. Just a correction. Hmm. Ashok Pandit ji, could you please give me an opportunity? Can I, can I just make a correction, please? Can I just one minute? Let's let him speak. He hasn't yet come onto the debate. Uh, uh, so just let him make his point, and I'll come back to you. And then Sanju Verma also wants to make a point. Walga Valamudan, Tanvi Tanvi ji, Walga Valamudan. I hope you won't interrupt me before I read out very important points. Today very peacefully I am going to strike iron while it is hot. You are asking a person to drink milk while running instead of asking to drink water being still. We need to be patient enough to see the events reach their logical conclusion oh come on mr krishna there is there is a time span this to who that what was not patient who that what was not patient I enough to go to the right platform and make a complaint why should they come to any patient for it i think the material that we have to complain from air india the complaint has been converted into an fir three sections under ipc if i slap him Yes, will, will you? Will, will you, Mr. President? As is the formality. Yes, Mr. President, Ashok Pandey wants to know if he comes and slaps you, will you still turn around and read this poem of patience to him? Incident and people are the police are doing their job. If if, 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 if somebody comes and slaps you, will you still read this patience of poem to him? I want to ask him the job. If I if I slap and you, I'd like to say I slap you. What if I slap you? Twenty times into hours. Are you going to read this poem? Time can be quantified into seconds. Minutes, hours, months, years. It is not even one year that you are today fighting for justice. It is not even six months. It is not even three months. It is not even one month. One week. It is barely three days since the incident took place. Let us let us give the event. How much time? time? How much time? One year. One year. You want one year? What are you talking? Do you want one year? What are you talking about? So that this man one can go, this Gunda Gaikwad can go and slap some more people. Owing to the cold shoulder shown by Congress, to today's Supreme to Court says him. open all the 199 anti-Sikh rights cases. Tanvi, I want to ask him to the Tanvi, I want to ask him. I want to ask and him one yes, question. And here, if I am, if I am a devil, please, 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 please,
that crores and crores of rupees of taxpayers' money goes down the drain into this airline is because the NATO is taking for a ride. Should we not look into the... Oh, please. Oh, please. Don't give this to us. I'm going to supply Kanto and then Sanju Varma. Clive, please. News about the splurge in Air India. Have we elected him? Artificial promotions have been taking place. Vidya Krishnan, please hold on for a minute. Vidya Krishnan, hold on a minute. You can't go on and on. You've made your point, which is quite irrelevant to this debate, frankly, tonight. But I'm going across to other panelists. Clive Krasto, go ahead. You wanted to make a point quickly, yes. No, yeah, there are two points I want to make, Tanvi. First and foremost, I'll go to the point what the gentleman was saying. I completely agree with Mr. Ashok Pandey. Mm. If somebody somebody hits you, are you going to turn around and read a poem? Are we having a poetry reading session here? I mean, what kind of conversation are we getting into? You know, if you are going to go on like this every day, this man is going to get bolder and bolder. I mean, today, today, yes, he, the two days back, he was talking that I hit him 25 times. Then I wanted to throw him today. He took, uh, supporters came on the street about, and they are burning an effigy of a man who has been uh, hit upon. And they are going to go on. What kind of what kind of uh, rhetoric is this man getting into? It's unbelievable. Okay. okay. Unbelievable. Okay. Let me let me let me please. Mr. Ashok Pandit. Mr. Ashok Pandit, sir. You know, I'm from the NCP I, and my party never involved. Everybody, involved. everybody, everybody, calm, calm down, please. Calm, calm down, please. We are just heading towards the end of this debate. Ati Dur. Aray, sir, what is this? Poetry session is not going on here. Vijay Krishna, please. 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 I already told him. Vijay Ji, please let me come in. Yeah, Sanju, I believe we have some audio issues with you. If that is, if that speed fixed, then we'll try and come across to you. Vijay Krishna, please hold on. Please hold on. Let me come in. Yes. Please it let Navir Chomal speak and then Sanju Varma. I believe see, uh, uh, the audio uh, problem has been fixed, so we'll go see, across to her. I am extremely thankful to our senior IPS officer, mm. Sri Vasan. He has very uh, properly explained how the law of the system is working. Yes, yes, we all know, but it still doesn't no, no, take three no, no. days. No, 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 please appreciate. Um, uh, I will continue from what uh, Mr. Vasan has been saying. That ultimately, see, uh, no doubt this incident has caught the attention of the entire nation. And whatever the concerns of the your esteemed channel are there, we are not disputing that thing. Mm. But only thing is, let us also understand how the law works and taking into account the uh, nature of this particular incident, mm. which basically was uh, something was simmering between the um, management of the Air India or other uh, operation of the Air India and this particular person, and uh, suddenly there was a flash point. So ultimately, we have to act judiciously. Sanju Arma, Sanju Arma, take his own course. Legalities are being thrown, are being thrown at his left, right, and centre. We are not throwing. But let let I I want to give one small example, please. Sanju Arma, everybody is speaking. No, 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 no. One minute. I got your point. I got your point. One more, one more. Yeah, yeah. One more point. One more point. Just one more. One more point. Last point. If is. Sanvi, you know I have been speaking because the audio was coming to you. Coming to you. Thirty seconds. 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 Behavior in Air India is the only litmus test for the member of parliament or their total behavior in the nation uh, litmus test for the parliamentarians. If uh, you are saying that the parliamentarians have, what you say, uh, done wrong things, then we should start with Manmohan Singh. Mm. He has helped uh, that Italian Sonia Gandhi rob crores and crores of okay. of my nation. Going off track so, again, going so off track again, that is not the yes, debate here. That is not the debate here. Man, that is not the debate here. Your man, your man yes, is standing yes. there and saying, yes, I have beaten him black and blue. I am not apologetic. He should come yes, and apologize to me. Sanju Varma, Sanju Varma, please, again, going by the law. One minute, Mr. Chomal, Mr. Chomal, please, one Chomal, please, Mr. Chomal, can you please keep quiet now? Sanju Varma, can we have seen live examples of what a crackdown can be? What a crackdown can be? Sanju, Sanju Yogi Adityanath Yogi Adityanath has shown us in Uttar Pradesh. Quick, with even even and I am actually appreciating it. Even meeting rape yes. victims and getting people arrested right away. I mean, on multiple accounts, he's shown. If there is a will, Sanju Varma, then the crackdown happens. Uh, thank you so much, Tanvi. It's uh, nice to know that at least uh, there are a few sections of the media uh, which are not crying foul of Adityan, uh, Yogi Adityanath's actions and not calling it vigilanteism. Uh, you know, he's walked the talk. We don't uh, uh, have any room for the likes of Gayatri Prajapati, Manoj Paras and Arun mm. Varma, all gang rapists. Uh, who were flourishing under Akhilesh Yadav. So why, why is Delhi police dealing it here? Uh, now coming to our mm. topic, I think, you know, Tanvi, 
No, I think Tanvi, you know, what Uddhav Thakre should first do. I will say what BJP has to do. First, let me also say what Uddhav Thakre has to do because their spokesperson has been mouthing all kinds of homilies. Uh, you know, uh, that aside, this fact remains that Mr. Gaikwad is the same gentleman who in 2014 force-fed a caterer during the month of Ramzan because he did not like the food. Absolutely. We again had an incident where Anil Kadam, one of the senior leaders, ransacked and vandalized a toll naka at Pimple Gao. So the fact remains that to bring greater probity in public life, to reduce this so-called boorish behavior, we have to ensure that this problem is nipped in the bud. And how do you do it? You do not endorse such candidates for any parliamentary position, mm. be it the Rajya Sabha or the Lok Sabha. Okay, Sanju, I am, I am being told by my director again again, like I need to start wrapping up now. Uh, I agree with you. It has to start with the party. But what about no, the police? Tanvi, one Arma? last point. Tanvi, one last point because I could not speak because of my audio issue. One last point. Yes. Tanvi, can I make a last point? Yes. Yeah. I also want to say, Tanvi, that you know we can keep here, we can take the high moral uh, ground, but the fact remains that in the Rajya Sabha, the Ethics Committee has the power to take suo moto action. Mm. No wonder Vijay Malia was expelled. Mm. But in the Lok Sabha, mm. suo moto action cannot be taken by the presiding officer or the speaker unless there is a complaint. I okay. think we need to take a relook at our laws. We need to give the presiding officer. But can't any of the BJP the MPs who are in abundance? Can't any of the BJP MPs who are in abundance? in Lok Sabha file that complaint and I'm sure that we will do the needful. What about this the Delhi the police that also comes under Sabha. BJP? Let me tell you Tanvi that in Lok Sabha, let me, let me tell you one thing Tanvi, please let me complete. Till so many years, under 10 years of UPA, only the Rajya Sabha had a permanent ethics committee. Do you know that the Lok Sabha only had an ad hoc ethics committee? Thanks to Narendra Modi. On okay. the 12th of August 2015, the Lok Sabha got a permanent ethics committee and I'm sure the ethics committee will be given more teeth to deal with this Sanjay, kind of Sanjay. arrogance, high-handedness and hooliganism. Well, well, uh, Sanjay, you, Sanjay, you know what I'm going to say next. The BJP MPs are in majority in Lok Sabha. Please, any one of them, please ask any one of your party MPs to just go there and file that complaint. Yeah. With the intention agreed, 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 agreed that you made that move. But what's the point of having the ethics committee if they don't take any action? Disqualify this MP. Throw him out of the house. Throw him out of the house. Ask your Delhi police to take action instead of dragging his feet. Perhaps they can learn some lessons in the way media has tracked down these eyewitnesses and taken their account. Viewers, I have to wrap up at this point, Sanju Varma. I'm sorry I couldn't give you more time, Clyde. I'm sorry I can't come to you as well, but I need to start wrapping up this. But we are not going to stop following up on this issue until this man is made to pay and punish for what he has done to Sukumar, the senior duty manager of Air India. We are not going to stop and we will continue to raise these questions, viewers. Thank you so much for joining us on this special edition. Thank you.